All right, so now let's look at sample question number five from the exam guide. This also has to do with Salesforce knowledge, so I wanted to include it in this section of the course before we finish it out with practice activities and a quiz. And so this question reads that Universal Containers plans to implement Salesforce knowledge for its U.S. call center to assist agents in providing customer support. Which three options should Universal Containers consider when planning its implementation? And so these are more conceptual in nature and not necessarily Salesforce function specific. And so this is more of industry knowledge type of question. And the options are, and you need to choose three, saying which three options should you see consider. And so those three options would be either A, what types of information they need to publish, B, who can approve and manage the information published, C is how information should be categorized. D is where call center support agents are located. And then E, when the knowledge maintenance window is available. And so there's really not a knowledge maintenance window. You either enable knowledge or not, and you can publish articles. You can set those for future publication dates as we showed. So E really doesn't apply. Salesforce may have short little five minute maintenance windows with each major release, but as far as a knowledge maintenance window, I don't think that exists. So we can rule out E. Another one we can rule out that doesn't really matter is where call center support agents are located. I guess in a roundabout way, in the real world, you may be concerned with where your agents are located because that may dictate business hour settings or language settings, but it's not really knowledge specific. And this question has to do with Salesforce knowledge and what things Universal uh, Containers needs to consider when they're implementing Salesforce knowledge specifically. And so the answers would be A, B, and C, and I'll talk about this briefly. And as you're rolling out knowledge, you do want to think about the types of information that you need to publish. And knowledge helps you to categorize information as well. And that's C, how information should be categorized. That's something that solutions does not provide is the ability to categorize information or provide really different types of articles, really. They did have article types, but it's not as robust a solution as knowledge. And so A is also a correct answer. And then as well, B is a correct answer. So the correct answers are A, B, and C. Now speaking to B specifically, who can approve and manage the information published? We've talked previously about who can publish articles, who can approve articles for publishing, and how those things can be set through profiles and permission sets, and how you can send articles through a publishing life cycle through like an approval process, for instance. And so the correct answers here would be A, B, and C. And so now we've talked a lot about Salesforce knowledge, and that really concludes the knowledge management section of this course. We're going to round that out now with a practice activity with some trailhead specific knowledge management trails. These are optional, but provide you with the opportunity to get more hands on experience and apply what you've just learned. And then we're going to finish out this section with a knowledge management quiz. And then I'll see you on the other side in the next section of the course, which is interaction channels.